The Institute has graduated 900 people over the last 60 years who now work in very senior positions in government and insurance companies and manufacturers and airlines, in uh, space launching companies, satellite uh, finance companies, insurers, uh, and in law firms. The Institute of Air and Space Law is the most renowned um, space institute in the world. I've heard a lot about it and met a lot of people that have been here before and I heard great things about it so I wanted to come here. And secondly, because I love the city of Montreal and I thought it would be a great experience to practice my French as well as to meet people from all around the world. After coming here, I took a few classes with Professor Dempsey and I was impressed to say the least. The support that the Institute gives to a lot of students, especially in the form of fellowships and scholarships, gave me the chance to travel and present my work uh, at different level conferences and uh, to different people across the world. There are a lot of um, facilities or uh, reserved for graduate students. I'm thinking of the Bridewell Lounge or Thompson House. All those places are places where people can just gather and exchange even outside classes. After the first cup, first week or two, uh, I think all, all of us got used to the weather and it was fun. Uh, the winters are really nice here. It's usually a very interesting fall when we get to know each other and then in the winter we have fun with the snow and you know Montreal has lots of snow. Uh, we have fun with the snow and the winter and the cold weather and then you know summer comes and before you realize one year is over. I spent seven, eight years in university and one year here as a student. This one year here was I think one of the best years I ever had. I think the atmosphere here is great. There's very much a sense of community, a sense of family, a sense of we're all in this together. And we all stay together everywhere we go and so you would also know that there is something called the McGill family which we all graduate and become part of and it's, it's a very truly wonderful experience. I mean the interaction between professors and students is just incredible. We have a, a wonderful family atmosphere. The students feel at liberty to come walk through the doors of my office or their professors, you know, it could be for um, educational reasons, it could be for personal reasons. It's a very open and welcoming environment. So it's almost like there isn't a distinction between professors and students and that's a, a really special thing I haven't experienced in, in other places. Uh, I have so many friends here, so many lifelong friends. That was the kind of relationship I liked and which brings me back all the time. In my class we had uh, classmates uh, from Japan, Colombia, Libya, a couple of European countries. That that was such a wonderful experience and um, I've made friends for my life. Uh, keeping in touch with uh, classmates even after more than 30 years uh, is something really quite special. You almost feel like part of a family. We have a number of rich uh, programs uh, for students, uh, including uh, the opportunity to, to visit uh, the airport, the uh, Air Canada, which is a major air carrier, Bombardier, which is um, the third largest manufacturer of aircraft in the world, the Canadian Space Agency, uh, the governmental institutions in, in Canada, in Ottawa, um, and we also have here the International Civil Aviation Organization and the International Air Transport Association. And all of these field trips uh, give us the students an experience outside the classroom. Plus, we have some moot court competitions. We send our students off uh, to Washington and uh, recently we sent them off to uh, Dubai and uh, New Delhi where they compete internationally and they have performed extremely well. For the last about six, seven years, uh, we have been preparing our teams to, to participate in Manfred Lacks Space Law Mood Computation, which takes place every year. It's a great learning uh, experience for students, really, to put their knowledge or information about space law to, to practical use uh, and to assess how uh, things will happen or will work in, in practice. 
Well, it was a very special moment. We, we just argued in front of the Prince uh, of the Emirate in, in Dubai, uh, in front of a very esteemed panel uh, of uh, former retired justice of the International uh, Court of Justice um, and, and other eminent uh, aviation law experts. So in that environment to uh, put forward one's arguments uh, to get a receptive response from the judge and then uh, to, to be announced the winner of an international air law competition. It's really a, a special moment in the life of anyone. We annually hold a major air law conference in Montreal and usually one or two space law conferences in Montreal. We've also had the opportunity to offer workshops, seminars and conferences worldwide and mostly we invite our graduates to speak at them and our graduates have a tremendous amount of expertise to share. Uh, we pick up topics which are of current importance, um, sort of after doing cutting edge research in certain areas, and we like to share with, um, with the international community. So those areas recently has been, I will say, militarization or weaponization of space and space debris. We are also working, at least for the last uh, about uh, six years, seven years, we have been working on what you call Space Security Index. The Institute's done a lot for me. It started my career in aviation. Um, it's, and I've, I want to come back to try to give back something to the, um, to the Institute and to the students themselves. The Institute basically allowed me to merge my, uh, my two great interests in my life, which were uh, uh, the law and aviation. Really brought some more depth into my aviation law knowledge. Uh, so when I came here, I, I thought it was a great opportunity to study something that uh, will combine what I, what I like to say, a passion with a profession. When I compare the teaching here at the Institute with the teaching that I do at home in, in Switzerland, uh, I find the students here in Canada much more engaged and interactive. I think the passion of this of the academic staff about what they were teaching and about what they were researching. That, and I think makes a lot of difference. And it, although it sounds commonplace, you don't find it in many places around the world when it comes to, to teaching and researching. I think overall, the atmosphere working at the Institute, working at McGill has been fantastic. I mean, I. It really is the people that make it. It's not only the colleagues that I've worked with, the professors. It really comes down to the students that I get to meet year after year that come on average stay a, a year to do their program, some a little more, and then leave, but always leave with this knowing that you will see them again. It's never the end. There's always going to be another time. And that's really what's been the most rewarding for me. The Institute supports the students and uh, it, it's not, these are just not words, you see that in reality. The people you see one year at the Institute when you teach, you know a lot of them you'll find, you'll meet again around the world in, uh, in, in later years. And uh, it also provides you with a very good pool of people when you're looking for experts. McGill is a very prestigious institution and it's, I always felt uh, privileged to be a member of this institution. It's not only a diploma, it's being a member of a huge family. You have networks in all over the world and this contributes a lot to your work in practice. I think that McGill is, a, is not only the premier academic centre uh, for end space law in the world, but it also, I think what it distinguishes from all other institutions is the terrific uh, networking capabilities that you get from the Institute and more importantly, from all its um, alumni uh, throughout the world. McGill's certificate or degree in aviation law is really very precious currency that is fully circulated in the aviation community of the whole world. J'ai vraiment vécu une expérience géniale euh, à tout point de vue, humaine, euh, intellectuelle. C'était vraiment une année très très riche. Euh, donc rien que pour ça, pour qu'ils puissent avoir la chance de vivre ce genre d'expérience, oui, je recommanderais bien sûr euh, de venir étudier à McGill, euh, à l'Institut de droit aérien et spatial. If anybody has a serious interest in studying aviation law, there is only one place in the world where they can go to get an outstanding background 
and comprehensive training, and that is the Institute of Air and Space Law at McGill. And I say that without any hesitation.